Hi everyone, I'm Jack. My own personal YouTube channel is Reading with Jack and today I'm here for the student room to talk about what to expect from Freshers Week. I wanted to make this video this week because I know that it's approaching for some people. Some of you will be starting university really, really soon and I thought if I made it now, most of you will be able to benefit from the video if you are starting. The first thing to expect is to be nervous and overwhelmed. Emotionally, it is like a roller coaster. I definitely found when I was travelling to university for the first time, it was quite scary because I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know what the people would be like, I didn't really know what would be happening. It is absolutely normal to feel like this, and I think everyone will be feeling a bit nervous because it's a new chapter in your life and that's always quite exciting, but it can be scary as well. The next thing to expect is regarding what you will be doing in Freshers Week because as well as all the fun things that you'll be doing you do have to do some other things as well and one of them will be registering at the university so that you can be an official student so that you're classed as an actual student at that university. This is necessary for things like student finance, they have to know that you're a confirmed student. Also with things like student ID cards and things like that, usually all that kind of thing is set up in Freshers Week so expect to have to queue around a little bit because obviously there are so many people joining the university at the same time and there's a lot of students for them to get through. Also regarding ID cards and things like that, it's probably a good idea to take passport size photos. I know with my university they made us do it all beforehand and we sent them in the post and then when we got there the ID cards were already printed out but for some of the universities you might have to do it when you're there so make sure you take a few passport size photos and then you'll be safe and prepared whenever you need to use them. The next thing is induction talks. Expect to go to induction talks and lectures. These are so important. Don't be tempted to sleep in because you think it would be easier to do that. I think I had around three induction talks in the space of a week and they were each one hour long and they were definitely very beneficial. It was a great way to meet the lecturers for the first time and for them to introduce us to the modules we were taking and then also to talk about the reading list and the books that we would need to buy. Also expect lots of events during the day as well. Freshers Week is not just about the night. A lot of the time there'll be things like campus tours and town tours so you can learn about where you're living and find your way around. Also things like student union fairs as well where you can sign up to societies definitely, definitely go to them. A lot of people will sign up to loads of societies and then not go to a lot of them and that's absolutely fine. If you find anything that you might be interested in, just sign up, put your email address on the list and then when something's going on with that society, you'll get an email and you might be interested in the event and want to go. The Freshers' Fairs are definitely the best way to get involved in stuff like this and to sign up. And then in terms of the events at night, there'll be loads going on for different kinds of people, for different tastes. So don't worry if you don't want to go out and party all the time, you don't have to. At my university there were things like film nights and they were really relaxed and casual. Remember that even though a lot of students will probably be drinking alcohol, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Don't change who you are just because you've moved away to university. If you don't drink before you don't have to start just because you've started university. You don't have to really change who you are. Just make sure that you're comfortable with what you're doing. Obviously it's good to kind of push yourself and and socialise and stuff but don't turn into a completely different person. And then the final thing is kind of just to summarise Freshers Week and what you will expect overall is to meet a lot of people. It's a very sociable time and you will meet so many people from your course, from your halls, just so many people. It's a great kind of time to get involved and meet people. Some of the people that you meet you'll stay friends with for a long time. Other people you just kind of fade away and you won't really talk to them again. But just talk to as many people as you can and get involved and I think that's the best thing to do just to talk and you know get yourself known and just talk to people just talk 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 so I think that's everything I want to talk about today for what to expect from Freshers Week I hope that it helps you and that you kind of learn what will be happening I know that it's a really nerve-wracking time it was for me but honestly it's absolutely amazing once you get there and you meet people and you'll really enjoy yourself. If you've got any more questions regarding what to expect from Freshers Week, please leave them down below in the comments and I will respond as soon as possible. Or alternatively, if there are any other videos you want me to make about university life, 
please let me know because I need inspiration. I need inspiration so I can make more videos for the student room. So let me know what you want me to talk about. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you all again in my next video.